I'm Bree the Plant Lady. Today, I'm going to share some crazy grain lady advice with you. I love growing grains in the ground and in containers. For beginning growers, I highly recommend starting your greens in containers just to get used to the idea. Take for example this pot of barley. I sowed this last fall, it grew all winter, and now it's just starting to develop its seed heads. I like to call this pot Future Beer. As the days get longer and warmer, I'm going to focus on growing warm season grains. This includes cool plants like corn, millet, sorghum, and my all-time favorite, rice. Rice is an ideal plant for container gardening, especially for pots with no holes. I like to focus on growing in pots that are five, seven, or 10 gallon. But remember, once it's filled with soil, the larger pots are very heavy. The second step is to fill your pot with compost. Don't use potting soil, it dries out too quickly. Focus on quality compost, like Soil Cube, to fill your container so that you can directly seed into it. Once you have your container filled with soil, the next step is easy. Just open the package and you scatter the seed evenly across the soil surface. final step is to mulch lightly, that way the seeds will germinate in place without being disrupted. I'm using a mix of soil cube and ground pine bark, frequently sold at box stores as soil amendment. You don't need a thick layer, typically a half an inch to an inch is more than enough. rice seed will germinate in place and it will grow all summer long. <music> Expect for your rice to start going to seed in late summer, usually after Labor Day. I recommend growing rice specifically in containers with no holes because rice is tolerant of wet feet. Rice does not require growing in saturation. I grow rice in my landscape just with normal irrigation. The reason that rice is grown in patties in commercial agriculture is a means of natural weed control. You see, the rice won't die when the, floods, when the fields are flooded, however the weeds do. You can grow grains in containers any time of the year, but rice really is the best candidate for summer growing. I recommend corn, sorghum, and millet for being directly sown into your landscape. People always inquire about fertilizer. Because I'm recommending that you are filling your pots with compost, you're not going to need to add a coated granular non-organic fertilizer. However, what I do recommend is that once a month, 
You water with fish emulsion. If you're not aware of this product, you should look it up immediately. This truly is the best fertilizer that you could possibly use for not just container plantings, but everything that you grow in your garden. This simple one container of rice may not seem like a lot, but it's a wonderful way to be able to experiment with a plant that you've never grown before. Growing grains has transformed my gardening experience. It's made me a more conscious consumer, a better steward to my land, and it's made me a far better cook. So check out my book, Gardening with Grains, for all the details. This spring, I'm offering one hour virtual foodscape consultations and have an eight course vegetable gardening class available. I hope I've inspired you to garden with grains this summer. Visit my website, breegrows.com, for more details on how you can order seeds. As always, thanks for tuning in to the Breathe the Plant Lady YouTube channel.